Now, let's talk about the chemical change. In fact, we have two types of changes in matter. We have the chemical change and we have the physical change. The chemical change, it's a process where we have new substances are produced. While in the physical change, it's the process where there is no new substances are produced. And let me give you an example. Let's talk about burning. If you burn wood and you get the ashes, can you return back the ashes to wood? We cannot. Here we have a new substance are produced and this change is irreversible. We cannot return it back. So when you have a new substance are produced, this is called a chemical change. Or when you cook food, cooking of food is a chemical change. Because when you cook the food, you cannot return it back raw. Now, let's talk about physical change. Physical change, we don't get in new substances. Like, if you are mixing sugar with water. When you dissolve the sugar in water, you are going to have sweet water. That's it. No new substances are produced. And you can separate the sugar from the water easily. If you have a piece of paper and you cut that piece of paper, do you get a new substance? There is no new substance. So it's a physical change. So in the chemical change, there are new substances are produced. While in the physical change, there are no new substances are produced.